Would either of you consider living on Mars if you had the chance, even if it was a one-way ticket? Well, I, I can answer that. I know what it entails. Uh, I know the challenges of uh, getting along with people. Uh, that's probably not been my strong suit. It is thinking about new and different and better ways to do things, and I need a big team behind me. Um, uh, I, I don't like to be lonely. I like to prepare other people to do the things that will be remarkable, and, and I'll rely on, uh, on my intellect to try and use the experience and guide people uh, into bigger and better things. That sounds good. Conrad? <laughs> I'd sign up tomorrow, so I'm, wow. I'm totally game. I've, I'm 50 years old. I've seen great things, and if I spent the next 50 years of my life, if I lived that long on Mars, I would be, I would love it. I would do geology. I would, I would try to do things. It's not that we would want to be there, but I would, I would sign up for it. And then with technology as it is today, um, the ability to communicate between the Earth and Mars would, would keep me um, close to it, and we would find a way to do it. But it would just be. Um, to be that person that, that, that took that, that first commandment to be on Mars, even if it was a one-way ticket, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I just don't <laughs> like that one-way ticket business. <laughs>